What's going on, everybody? I'm Skaterific of Skaterific Airsoft, and today I want to go over DBs I use when I play my airsoft DBs when I play. So let's jump right in. So the DB when I'm sniping, the I mean, so everybody tells me I should use four O's or four sixes, but I use two eights. And also, I mean, I do tend to use them in my M4 as well, in my pistols. So, let's change camera view here for a second. So, for my sniper rifle and my M4 and my handguns, I'm using currently using the Falcon Accelerate .28s, which my sniper rifle they do work. They t they do work in it well but i do want to go up i may try using three twos in it to see what i what kind of distance i can get out of it if it's not like if it's not what i like then i'll probably will go to the four o's or the four sixes and see what it does for me so Moving on next, the next ones I use. A lot of time when I my M4, a lot of times even I'll use it even in my pistol too. I'll use two O's from time to time when I run out of my two eights. I'll use the two O's, which they work perfectly fine for me. I ain't had any issues with my guns with my especially my M4. I'm getting pretty good distance with these, which these are the Elite Force. Premium point two O's that I've been using a lot <laughs> lately. Then at night time, I can't tell you which. I think these are the GNG Tracer BBs, which are pretty cool to see at night, especially I'm out here shooting my backyard with them, <laughs> shooting them in my backyard. Pretty cool at night, which currently, for my M4, I still, I need to buy a Tracer unit for it still, which I'm, for that. Let's see here. Alright. That and also, I need to find, see if I can find a way to put a Tracer unit on my uh, sniper rifle too, because I do want to try to do that, which would be kind of cool to see. See that BB flying pretty good distance. <laughs> But again, too, I'm gonna give you a little. I'm gonna give you an update on my M249. I do have parts. I have some parts ordered for it. I've got a spring guide catch and a new spring guide ordered for it, which I ordered off of evic.com, which for the both of them two parts, forty three bucks, which not too bad for the price. Uh, but the next thing I'm going to order for that gearbox, for the gearbox fort, I am going to order a spring. I'm going to order the spring fort. I'm going to order the cylinder, the piston, piston head, and the air nozzle and the nozzle fort. Next, then from there, I'm going to order. I'm gonna order new gears for it. I'm gonna order a motor, the spring, the gearbox spring set for it, which eight bucks, which is not too bad. But all in all, by the time I get done building this gear, rebuilding this gearbox, eh, roughly, I probably have roughly about two hundred ninety, maybe three hundred bucks in it. Then just trying to struggle to find the screws the hold the mount the gearbox to the body which i think i have an idea how i'm gonna fix that it take care of that or fix and or take care of that issue but that's a little update on that on the gearbox but i do have some more stuff i'm going to try to find for source and find for it i'm going to try to find a new outer barrel for it which i'm still struggling to find i'm probably going to put a quad rail on it on the on it just so I can mount some mount little P 
pieces on it, like maybe a flashlight, laser, or something, whatever I want to do with it. And hopefully get that gun up and running so I can go blast people at my local field, which give my local field also ACS Airsoft, which pretty cool place to go to when I'm just playing some little pickup games, which yet I still want to go to a middle sim event. And just right now with COVID going on, it's kind of prohibiting me from doing that. Which next month they do have a good, they got one coming up in Iron, Operation Iron Horse 3, which is in Perryville, Georgia. Which I've been seeing some pictures of the field, which is pretty cool. If anybody's going to go to that. I'll encourage it. Sadly, I can't because, like I said, with COVID and funding, it got a lot of. I got a lot of other stuff I've got to take care of, which such as I've got to put tires in my truck. I got to put tires in my wife's car. Put new belts on my truck. Fix an oil leak, which I hardly dry. Which I do dread doing that. By the way, <laughs> yeah. I mean, down in the comment, I mean, like, what the heck. On a positive note, if you like this video, comment down below what you want to see. Other stuff you might want to see me do, especially with my guns, maybe my truck, music-related stuff, which, me, I am a guitar player, I'm a musician, I do record, I record my stuff some. Hadn't in a while. Because what with other stuff, which a lot of the other stuff that's been going on, happening with me spending time with my family with holiday with the holidays and stuff. But yeah, also down the comments, see just down the comments, write down there what what other guns you want to see me buy or try out. Well, it doesn't matter whether it's an AK, Brandon 1919, SVD, MP5, MP5K, it doesn't, the list goes on and on, because there's a lot of guns that I want to buy, or shoot person, try personally, to see if I'm like it, maybe buy it, so yeah, please subscribe, please subscribe to my channel, and... I'll, I'll see you out there.